The Free Republic, or is it? Founded by Brandit of House Lightbringer, the so-called Republic touts themselves as the leaders of the free world, but when you take a closer look, you may begin to question if they're telling the truth. The Republic claims its citizens are free and happy, but where are they? They also claim to be a democracy yet have never held an election. To fully understand and unveil the dark side of the Republic, we have to go way back to its origin. This will help us understand the sinister forces at work here. Returning viewers will already know, but for new viewers, the current leader of the Republic, Branded, was the first new player to join in the modern times, making him the third oldest currently living player. He was the first person Zippers met at the shores of the Noros. Together they formed the first city, also known as New Bravos. For a time they ruled as equals, but then came perhaps the most politically significant event in history. The Beckian Memeless led a pillager army from the Barons to attack the city. Most of the citizens were killed, and the old trade hall was destroyed. Ultimately, this led to the dissolution of New Bravos and the formation of the Republic, led by Branded, and the Emirate, led by Zippers. Before, I was a little vague when I said that creative and moral differences led to the split, so let's examine that a little. Zippers had a vision for a new city, a city with a cohesive theme and a very specific aesthetic. As such, no buildings could be built that did not match this vision. He wanted closed borders and complete dominion over this new settlement. Now, the moral disagreement is allegedly that Brandon thought people should still be free to build and do as they pleased, but I'm not so sure his motivations are as altruistic as he'd have you believe. He and Zipper spent so much time together and got on so well that I'd be shocked if Brandon didn't share some of his more authoritarian values. Case in point, even as the wall was being built, Brandon constructed his auto kelp farm and began laying foundations for the high tower. These buildings are, of course, very different from Zipper's state-mandated style. So does Brandon really believe everyone should be free to build, or just him? I believe the split was really because he wanted to build in his own aesthetic, and not to support all people's freedom. That brings us back to the citizens. Where are they? When the Emirate formed, all remaining villagers in Soto were brought to the new capital, Tanis. Skilled workers and villagers with good trades were prioritized, no doubt at the behest of Dragon and the East Desert Company. However, this left the Green Shirts and a few others with undesirable professions. Dragon was the first to suggest sending them to a farm upstate, but Brandon objected and wanted to take these refugees. He claims that he paid for their freedom, but these villagers haven't been seen since. Now we're back to the question that sparked all this investigation. Where are the Republic's citizens? I decided to take this into my own hands. I headed over to the Republic City. After all, visitors are welcome. The high tower doesn't appear to have any basement or secret rooms. Then there's these structures in the river. An enchanting area and a stable, I think? Turning up nothing. That leaves only the river villa. The Republic's oldest building. It was constructed originally as part of New Bravos. It's an open concept, leaving little to hide, or so I thought. After a brief examination of the interior, I decided to poke around the side. Bamboo, small garden, and this swimming pool. Admittedly, this is a neat little feature, and while I was admiring it, I made a discovery. Something was out of place, right here, on the poolside closest to the house, a row of deep slate bricks along the bottom. The rest of the pool is blue terracotta, so... Why was there bricks right here? It doesn't make any sense. Unless the pool bottom is clipping into another subterranean structure. At this point, I knew I was onto something. I quickly made my way into the sandstone quarry and mining tunnels under the Republic's high tower. Sadly, an extensive search of the mines still turned up nothing. That's when I decided to turn my attention back to the villa. And after a brief but more thorough investigation, lo and behold, a secret lever hidden behind a barrel under the stairs that wind pulled reveals this staircase into the ground. And just like that, mystery solved. Beneath Brandon's house, a sizable deep slate chamber, and not just two villagers, at least 10, maybe more, the children of the original refugees working in darkness, having never seen the light of day. You'd be hard pressed to convince me that anyone would agree to that life willingly. Even if Brandon claimed this is for their safety, is it really all that different from the Emirate? I allege that this nation is nothing but a rhino. A republic in name only. 
created by Branded, a self-appointed president who sits on a throne in a castle. No different from his friends across the river. Unfortunately, I didn't get out of there scot-free as I was discovered by the man himself and nearly earned the highest award for investigative journalism. But, quote, in the spirit of democracy, I was spared. Also, I'm sure that he figured that killing me would only make it look worse. And of course, that it was for his citizens' protection, and that he was waiting until a suitable residence could be built. I additionally went on to ask Knickknack and Sane if they had ever been in an election, to which they replied no, but that they consented to Branded being the leader. I don't know, sure sounds like a royal birthright to me. And moreover, some of you brainwashed folks out there might say that hasn't Branded prevented, like, three world wars at this point? To which I might say... So what? And also, what's with all this Lightbringer stuff? I mean, they're practically dangling it right in front of your face. All you need to do is look. I mean, Lightbringer? Look past the propaganda spoon-fed to you by the Republic media outlets. The high tower bringing forth light? When will the people wake up and see this for what it really is? A homing beacon for a space laser. Why don't they just farm kelp in the river? I think they've been dumping too many potions in the river that turn the frickin' frogs I sincerely hope you enjoyed our 100 subscriber special. As always, what do you think? Is the Free Republic really free? Be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Again, this was our 100 subscriber special. Thank you guys so much, and I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're a new viewer, consider subscribing, and feel free to check out the rest of the series on the YouTube channel. And I just want to say thank you so much for your kind comments on the map video. Uh, stuff like that really makes us want to keep going and, and keep making more videos. As always, thank you so much for watching, and until next time.